Susana, Marco, Stefano e Gennaro sono quattro amici. Sì. So I only work 12 hours a week. That's what I set my work limit for each week. And I don't work Mondays and Fridays. So I often get people asking me, well, how do you spend your days? Um, that's why I've decided to vlog, um, not every day, but on some of my select days so that people can see how I focus on key outcomes so that I strip the bullshit out of my day to get things done. Now, today's Monday. So as you see, I started with my Italian lesson, um, did some reading. But I'm going to go through my Mondays and some other select days so you can see how I spend my days. Quite honestly, there's some people who just don't believe that I only work 12 hours a week. Uh, so that's one reason I'm, I'm doing this freedom vlog so you can see exactly how to live an outcomes-focused life that allows you to strip the bullshit out of your day, focus on key outcomes, and live the freedom lifestyle. So I'm a big reader, always reading a book, uh, not just in the morning, although usually when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is read a book. This morning I had Italian, um, so I spent uh, about an hour and a half after that reading, uh, starting a new book by James Dickey. It's called To the White Sea. It's a war novel. Now James Dickey, he was a professor at the University of South Carolina, right here in the state in which I live, but he's best known for his best-selling novel, Deliverance, which is, of course, made into a legendary movie uh, poet and uh, just started it today. Uh, seems like it's going to be a great one. And uh, I'll do a review here uh, shortly here on, on my YouTube channel. So now I'm headed to the gym. I actually usually only do one workout per day. Today I'm going to do, as you'll see, I'm going to do two. I'm going to head to the gym now and then head to do some boxing later. Uh, I just spent about an hour just playing with the kids hanging out, talking with my wife. She was out of town over the weekend with three of my kids while I was at home with our seven-year-old son who was sick. Uh, so just spent some time playing with the kids, uh, talking to my wife and chilling out. Now I'm headed to the gym. So I had a great workout today. Uh, today I did five sets of 240. Next week, or actually in two days, I'll move up to five sets of 245. I did a three minute, 45 second plank. Uh, I did four sets of eight pull-ups. Uh, and that was it, I did, in between I did some leg squats. So it's an outcomes focused workout. Half hour, that's it, in and out, and I feel great. So I just enjoyed a call with my coach, uh, Fraser Cameron. We do weekly calls. He helps get my mindset straight. He ensures that uh, I'm not working more than 12 hours a week, which is the limit I've set. Uh, he makes sure I'm focusing on key outcomes every day. And then he helps me just, well, first of all, we're like really, really close friends. Uh, but he also helps me with ideas and bouncing ideas off him on a variety of things. Um, and uh, so that it's a key part of my week. Every Monday, uh, we do these calls. Uh, he's more than a mindset coach. He's more than a, than a great friend. Uh, he just helps me uh, get my shit together and, and keep my day straight. So after showering up and eating lunch, I am out here with some of the kids for a nice walk after lunch. Then what are we gonna do, Dominic? Do some piano today? Yeah, piano. Walking is great. You know, there's something called uh, active couch potato syndrome, wherein some people think that they're really active, but really what they do is they get an hour of exercise and then they sit on their butts for the rest of the day. So even five to 15 minute walks, slow walks after dinner or after a meal, lunch, whatever, uh, can make a big difference, not just calorically, but also uh, with your hormones, your you know mus muscular skeletal system. So uh, out enjoying a walk. Plus we're here in South Carolina and it's about 60 degrees today. Beautiful weather. So that was my son practicing piano. Uh, twice a week for about 45 minutes to an hour. I come up here and I help him practice. He mostly self-directs uh, and teaches himself, but I help him. I used to play piano when I was a kid, and uh, that was about 45 minutes of today. 
Um, and now I'm going to chill out for a little while. Uh, my wife's going to the gym and then I'm going to take my daughter uh, to boxing a little bit later tonight. So some people ask why we moved from up north to here in Charleston. And here's one of the answers. Here in the back deck, it's beautiful weather. I'm in shorts. It's snowy up north everywhere. The tide is rolling in here, right in our backyard. This is a saltwater marsh we live on. So last week I did a video uh, about why I bit the bullet and came home early from New York City. You know, this is another reason why. No matter where I am in the world, I can't wait to get home here on our home on the salt marsh in South Carolina. The weather, the sun, the salt water coming in. I love how the sun uh, reflects uh, at sunset right off the water. So I was supposed to go to boxing tonight, take my daughter with me, uh, but whatever stomach bug hit my son this weekend has apparently gotten a hold of me as well. So I'm not going to boxing. I'm going to lay low the rest of the night. Uh, but you got a sense for my day, my Monday. You know, I didn't do any work today. Uh, worked out. I uh, had a lot of family time. Walked with my kids. Uh, did some reading. Um, I, uh, I taught my son piano. And uh, that's my Mondays and Fridays. You know, Fridays are family time as well. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday I work. But again, my limit, my work limit for the week is 12 hours. So have a wonderful rest of the week, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.